Breaking news, Iran is announcing plans to upgrade its nuclear program and is loading fuel into one of its reactors for the first time this morning. A move that is sure to increase tensions between Iran and the U.S. Charlie Daggett is following the story from London. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Erica. Iranian media is also reporting scientists plan to unveil what they're calling fourth-generation uranium enrichment centrifuges. Western experts we spoke to this morning cast doubt on those claims, saying the Iranians have been struggling to reach second or third generation. At any rate, they say they have a higher speed and production capacity, but Iran has exaggerated its nuclear capabilities before. As far as we know, the highest level of enrichment conducted so far is about 20 percent. That's well below the 80 percent necessary to build a bomb. The fear, of course, is that Iran could be capable of producing enough uranium to build a bomb without the world knowing. Now, this morning, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Iranian aggression must be stopped. He reasserted claims that Iran is behind the explosions this week targeting Israeli diplomats in India and Georgia. In Thailand, investigators confirmed material uncovered in a mistaken bomb blast involving three Iranian men is similar to the devices found in other attacks. Now, next week, representatives of the nuclear watchdog, the IAEA, travel to Iran. The big question is whether those negotiations are able to break an international stalemate or escalate tensions over Iran's nuclear ambitions.